Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Suji Sharon. I hope you are all safe and happy there. So today's video is all about the masters in pharmacy in Canada. So yeah, let's get started. Basically, the masters of pharmacy is a two-year thesis and research-based programs offered in full-time and part-time. And the courses offered in masters are MPharm. MSc in Pharmacy, Pharmaceutical Sciences and Pharmacology. So these are the list of the universities offering the above mentioned programs. And among these universities, the University of Toronto, Alberta and Waterloo are the best ranked universities. So these are the list of universities which are offering the above mentioned programs. Uh, that's MSc in Pharmacy, MSc in Pharmaceutical Sciences, MSc in Pharmacology and MPharm. Now moving to the general admission requirements of each of the programs. The first one is MS in Pharmaceutical Sciences and you have 4 year graduate program in Science, Medical or Engineering field and you have secured a minimum of 75% average in each of the last 2 years of full time study in a 4 year UG program and secure a potential supervisor within the department which is very important and IELTS overall 7 is needed and GRE also required for this program. Now for MS in Pharmacology, same, uh, you have a 4 years bachelor's degree in pharmacy or related field and overall grade uh, required is first class, uh, that is B plus grade you needed and uh, IELTS overall is 6.5 and same like in pharmaceutical sciences you have identified your supervisor within the department of pharmacology and uh, the courses can be offered in full time and part time. The next one is Master of Pharmacy in Advanced Pharmacy Practice which is MPharm and the basic uh, qualification is BPharm or PharmD uh, with at least 78 percentage in the final two years and the next step is which is very important you must be licensed or eligible for licensure as a pharmacist in that province uh, also some colleges have mentioned that you must pass the evaluating examination prior to the admission so which is very important that is the uh, basic requirement for this mpharm program and the applicants must have completed a one year residency program as well and the basic uh, ielts 7 is the overall score required and for ms in pharmacy the ms in pharmacy is mainly concentrated on the drug design and pharmaceutics um, ielts is overall uh, 7 a point is required and a four year bachelor's degree is the basic qualification and you have secured at least minimum 78 percentage in the last two years of your academic and how to apply yeah you can apply directly to the college website portal that is in the admission section or uh, you can apply through a genuine immigration agency and i highly suggest that you can uh, do it yourself because it's that much easy all the details are provided in the college website so these are the first year tuition uh, for the programs and the fundings may available in these forms like studentship assistantship scholarship uh, grants etc and uh, you can even directly go through the college uh, website portal and uh, check your eligibility whether you are eligible for any government non-government or college scholarship programs so among those universities the university of manitoba is comparatively affordable tuition and uh, hence the pharmacy uh, graduates or international pharmacy graduate uh, choose this University of Manitoba. You can either work 
uh, in healthcare sector or in pharmaceutical industrial settings and uh, uh, the whether you need pvc license or not highly depends upon the position you are working but most of the healthcare sector jobs uh, need a pvc licensing and if you are doing your ms in ms here there is no need to uh, write the evaluating examination you are directly eligible for uh, writing the qualifying examination and uh, uh, except for the m pharmacy for m pharmacy you need to write the evaluating examination in order to get admission in a specific college uh, yeah that's guys about the masters in pharmacy in canada and i hope you guys find this video useful thank you so much for watching stay safe and bye bye